Emily Lestrange. She's a 13-year-old girl. She loves black. She loves kitties. She likes to celebrate all things strange. Emily uh, seems to appeal to people, one for the reason that uh, everybody seems to have felt or been in a place in their lives where uh, maybe they've been, they felt alone or outcast or uh, not quite in tune with the rest of the world around them. And for Emily, that's okay. And I think that's why people feel comfortable with Emily because she allows them to be comfortable in their own skin. After uh, carefully choosing the words, the words in which we described Emily to the world in short sentences in these graphic novels we'd previously done, we had a, a backlog of ideas that really needed to be said. Uh, stories were formulating, dreams were taking place. These stories are, are, were so fun and so open-ended that uh, it naturally needed to be told in, a, in the format of a novel. The book starts off with Emily not knowing who she is or where she is. The novel actually begins with 13 things Emily does know about herself and 13 things she does not know about herself. We brainstormed the, the, the notion that the only person who can really tell the Emily story must be Emily. And what a thrill it will be for a fan of Emily to finally get a look into how she thinks, how she speaks, how she speaks to her kitties. The world actually gets introduced to Emily at the same time Emily is introducing herself to herself. That's just good fun. One of the visions I have for the future is to launch the Emily the Strange Foundation. And the Emily the Strange Foundation's mission will be to uh, help develop the power of creativity in teens, to help empower them with uh, the tools and resources to find within themselves to just unlock what it is that can launch art, music, spirit of creativity within themselves because it's such a nurturing practice that it, it can, re I, I believe it can really help in overcoming um, just about anything that troubles you.